this is a quick video demonstration of how to enable Matrix on uh, the full-size DVRs we sell. Uh, Matrix is basically a spot out. A spot out is uh, a group of cameras that you can put on a particular a monitor and then it, you can have it on rotation or you can have it to display uh, a certain group of cameras. Uh, our DVRs have, the full-size DVRs have uh, HDMI, VGA, B BNC video out and, and BNC spot out. That's where the matrix is uh, configured or that's what we call in the matrix. Uh, in order for you to access that or for, to configure it, you just right click and then you will see an option here that says video matrix. So for, for this to work you have to make sure that you have a TV connected already on your spot out and um, also once you are here once you choose your cameras just give it about a few seconds and the the, uh, the rotation of the cameras is gonna start it doesn't start right away so just give it a few seconds and then you will see that all of a sudden you will uh, start seeing your groups of cameras rotating and so on so this is the main interface of the video matrix it's uh, you will have this option here it says enable tour this is what is going to enable the spot out to start working now you have a few options you have all, if you want all the cameras to display in that video spot out. You have view 1, view 4, view 9, and view 16. So this, uh, the word view 1, what it means is you're going to see one camera at the time, and then you pick the camera you want, okay? 1 through 16. This is a, a hybrid DVR, so you can only do analog cameras on the video matrix. So you can pick from uh, 1 through 16 only one view or full size view. A view 4 will be four squares and then you pick the first group, the second group, the third group, and the fourth group, whatever group you want. You can pick all of them and then what it will do is it will display every five seconds it will display group 1 so cameras 1 through 4, group 2 will be cameras 5, 6, 7, and 8 and so on and so forth. Until when it gets to the fourth group it will jump back again to group number 1. View 9 will be a 9 view, 9 squares, and then it will be uh, 2 groups of 9. And then view 16 will be uh, 1 camera, I'm sorry, it will be uh, 16 views uh, with all of the groups. I mean, it's not going to uh, rotate or anything like that, unless that you have any other things here clicked. So, for example, you can mix and match this. You can have, let's say, your first uh, matrix or your first rotation you want. You want camera number one, camera number ten on one single view. And then I want camera uh, on a nine view, I want my second group of the, of the nine group view nine. So you can mix this and match. So when it jumps to uh, when it started, when, when the matrix starts, what is going to happen is it's going to start showing the view number one, the first camera, and then it's gonna uh, after five seconds you're gonna it's gonna go to uh, the number 10 then it's gonna go change the layout to 9 and then it's gonna display the cameras uh, from uh, 9 through 16 so that's exactly how it works so you can mix this and match and however you wanted to do it or you can do all of the, all of the views at the same time and you know and they will go they will go by by group first the first view then when it finished to a camera 16 it will jump to view 4 and so on and so forth now all of our DVRs do not support uh, matrix only the full-size DVRs okay and um, this this feature is for you to put as a, a second monitor or a fourth monitor on a remote location and then people will not see what you're doing. So for example, you have something on the spot out. If you go to the main menu and stuff like that, and that display where you have connected the, uh, the video spot out, you will not see any menus. So that's exactly how it works, okay? So uh, it's very easy to use. It's located right here on the uh, video matrix. You can right click and go to the video matrix, or you can go to uh, main menu, settings, and then display and then you will see the video matrix there as well. Okay? I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.